Maliba, will there be a vacuum? Actually, no one says that uh, the legend position is actually open for succession. <coughs> but then there is the political space that the person of Raila Odinga actually occupies. But let's start with the basics. Uh, Raila's brother, Senator for CIA, Oburu Odinga, said that uh, proposed that Topi Wandai is best suited to replace Raila Odinga. Uh, the other day, uh, Mamaida Odinga, Raila's spouse, was in Homa Bay, and he proposed Mbadi, and she proposed Mbadi to, as the most suited to replace Raila Odinga. When uh, people so close to Raila Odinga start speaking languages that are conflicting, it's either they are setting people up or they are playing a game. But uh, <clears throat> secondly, let's move up here. We all know that Raila Odinga is Azimio, and Azimio is Raila Odinga. In the absence of Raila Odinga, there is no Azimio. That is the truth. This you're convinced. Uh, that I know. Uh, it's, it's a matter of fact that if you did away with Raila Odinga, there will not be Azimio. Uh, there will be all other things, uh, Oka, One Kenya Lands, DAPK, NAC Kenya, Jubilee and the others, but there will not be Azimio. So as it is, there is definitely not a breakup. Uh, and Okango says here repeatedly that uh, there will be no succession, as in Raila has already planned succession. But uh, going if the person of Raila Odinga wins the AUC chairmanship, one thing will really happen. That we must actually be, all of us know. And uh, let's also accept, and on that one I want to back uh, Okango and say that Raila is truly a legend. When Raila leaves, there will be political funerals in Western Kenya, in Nyanza, and in Coast. Because there are people who have no other political credentials and qualifications <coughs> bar for the claim that they come to defend and support Raila Odinga. In his absence, there will be no court to hang on, and they will really be taken out. Then, of course, there's the other side of individuals who've made a career by uh, being the fighters against Raila Odinga. Those two would also not have a scarecrow for which you can actually do political mobilization around. So the exit of Raila Odinga is not just about breaking up Azimio, but will also realign the national uh, way of doing things. But as it is, uh, there is no Azimio going forward because uh, I think a few of these guys really do not understand how this AUC thing is playing out. Uh, because the people wouldn't be meeting. Like he speaks about his party leader. His party leader went missing after elections. The party leader has been so silent, and I'm actually happy he's putting on a red coat. That is uh, <laughs> uh, the, the, the Kanu Kala. <laughs> so his Kanu party leader, I think chairman, uh, went missing. He's been silent. The next time we've seen uh, Gideon Moy after elections is when he's posting up uh, in, uh, for the photo that he's saying that he's bringing up all this. So the truth is that uh, Azimio will have a problem of housekeeping. And that is the problem when you actually build a political movement around an individual and not around issues. So uh, we can make long speeches, go around and say so much. But the truth is that Raila's uh, bid for the AU uh, automatically has made these guys feel un uncomfortable. Uh, for a lot of them, especially those uh, handshake engineers who hoped that this would actually turn into a handshake of sorts. Uh, they, they are going around hoping, why is this not translating into the handshake that they thought? They are already even coming up with all uh, those uh, photoshopped headlines and hoping that probably these would lead to a handshake type of engagement. But that is not what is going to happen. So okay. the breakup is not just mm. suspicious. Uh, it's not just that there's suspicion of, for breakup. This one is real. Whether he wins or not, Azimi will not survive. Whether he wins or not? Yes. Okay. Bashir, is that your real